here in the maths basic class with the concept of LCM. LCM, the meaning of LCM is least common multiple. Let us understand now what is LCM. Least common multiple of two numbers. For example, 4 and 5 are two numbers. Now, let us find out the LCM of these two numbers. How to find out? First, we have to write the multiples of 4. 4 into 1, 4. 4 into 2, 8. 4 into 3, 12. 4 fours are 16. 4 fives are 20. 4 sixes are 24. 4 sevens are 28. And so on. You go on writing the multiples of one number. And then you write the multiple of the number 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10. 5 threes are 15. 5 fours are 20. 5 fives are 25. 5 sixes are 30. 5 sevens are 35. 5 eights are 40. And so on. Now, after writing the multiples of both numbers, now we have to find out common multiples among these. Which are the common multiples among these? Now, you just go on observing. Here, see 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Yes, one common multiple is 20. Next, like this only, 24, 28, 4 eights are 32, 4 nines are 36, 4 tens are 40. And in the same way, here if you write 5 nines are 45, 5 tens are 50. Now, one more common multiple we are finding here, that is 40. 20 and 40 are two common multiples. What are these? Multiples. Common. In this two common multiples, which is the least one? Which is the smallest one? Here 20 is the smallest common multiple. So, for this smallest, they have given one name that is least common multiple. This is what LCM. So, LCM of this both 4 and 5 is 20. 20 is here least among these two common multiples. So, 20 is the LCM of 4 and 5. This is what the method of writing the or finding the LCM of these two numbers by listing the multiples. Yes, my dear students. What is the LCM of 4 and 5? Yes, the LCM of 4 and 5. The LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. Just now we found out the LCM of 4 and 5 as 20. How we found out that LCM? By listing out the multiples of the numbers, given numbers. The which method? By which method we found out the LCM of 4 and 5? By listing out the multiples of given two numbers. Now, you just observe these three numbers. Which are the three numbers? Two numbers are given and this number is just now found out by us. Now see, 4, 5 and 20. How they are related? 4, 5 are 20, 5, 4 are 20. That means the Multiple, the least multiple is divisible by both the given numbers. The LCM is or the least common multiple which is found out by us is divisible by both the given numbers. That means whenever we found out the LCM, that number is divisible by both the given numbers. Sometimes two numbers may be given, sometimes three numbers may be given. All those numbers 
are divisible by the multiple LCM. That is, we found out the LCM. No, that number is divisible by the given numbers. So now we can define LCM with this example. Now the least common multiple of the two integers is the multiple which is divisible by given two numbers. This is definition. Now this LCM can be found out in another method. That is prime factorization method. What is that? Prime factorization method. Prime factorization method. How that prime factorization method? Now, let us do that prime factorization method. Like this, 4 and 5 are given numbers. We have to find out the LCM by prime factorization method. See here, prime factorization method means uh, we have to take prime numbers only here. So, here see, 2, 2 is 4. Then 5 is not there in the 2 table. You write 5 as it is. Then 2 ones are 2. 5 is not there in the 2 table. You just write 5 as it is. Then next you take 5 here. Then 1 as it is. 5 ones are 5. This method is a prime factorization method. Here only we have to take the prime numbers. Now, therefore, or this implies that the LCM of the LCM of 4 and 5 4 and 5 is equal to see here, 2 into 2 into 5. That is 2 to the 4, 4 5 is 20. This is prime factorization method. See, by which method we found out this LCM? By listing of the multiples of the given numbers. That also 20, this also 20. Only thing here, the methods are different. In the first case, we just listed out the multiples. Here, this is prime factorization method. Dif more different methods are there, but the answer is same. LCM is same. So, this is what finding out the LCM of given numbers. My dear students, let me explain the LCM of three numbers. Example, 2, 4, 6. Three numbers, LCM. Now, we find out by listing out the multiples. Write the multiples of 2. Write the multiples of 4. Then, write the multiples of 6 like this. Now, we find out common multiples among these. Which are the common multiples? In all three, they must be common multiples. See, 2, 4, 6, 4, 8, 12, 6, 6, 12, 18, 8, 16, 24, 10. Here, see, here also 12, here also 12, here also 12. Yes, 12 is the common multiple. Then, 14, 14 is not there. 16, 16, yes, it is not there. 18, yes, 18 is not here. In both it is there, but here it is not there. No, we should not take. Then, 20, 20 is here, 20 is here, but 20 is not here. Then, again, this is 2 11s are 22, 2 12s are 24. Here, see, 24, 24, 24. We have to take here 24. So, which are the common multiples here? 12 and 24. These two are the common multiples. Then among these, which is the least common multiple? That is smallest common multiple? 12 is the smallest common multiple or least common multiple. So, the LCM of 2, 4, 6 in the Listing of the multiples method is 12. So, the same, yes, same numbers LCM can be found out by prime factorization method. Prime factorization method. See, 
Now let us find out the LCM of these three numbers by prime factorization method. See, two ones are, two twos are, two threes are. Now again, we will take here two ones are, two ones are, three as it is. Now we take here three, one, one, ones are. Therefore, LCM of two, four, and six is. 2 into 2 into 3. That is 2 2s are 4. 4 3s are 12. See here. You all know the methods are different. The LCM is same. This is listing out the multiples method. This is prime factorization method. My dear students. I hope that you understood finding the LCM of 2 numbers and 3 numbers. Same thing will be followed for the 4 and 5 numbers also. So, let me come and meet you in the next class with HCO.